what is the, the relationship between vibration and prana and food? So in order to evolve spiritually, meaning to enhance our self-awareness through inner and through outer connections, so we can live a more joyful life, let's say. That's one of the reasons we want to, you know, evolve. It's just like to, to be more present, to feel more joy in life. And we, what we need to do is to look at our body as a ve vessel. A vessel where energy can flow in and out. So the higher our vibration, the higher our vibration is, the more able we are to connect to our soul. How? Think about prana. Prana means, the, the name prana means, um, I think it means before atoms. So it, prana is the vibration between atoms. It comes before the atom le atomic level. So it's the vibration between atoms. Now think about the scenario. Imagine that you could see, you could see uh, prana, let's say. And two atoms and prana there. It's something like very big. There's two atoms here and there's prana in between, like high level prana vibrate, vibrating there. Ideally, if we look at our body as, as vessels, we want to see things flowing through it. What are these things? Creative ideas, feelings, emotions. We want to see uh, any sort of energy wave flowing to it, thoughts flowing to it. So it, things comes and go, nothing is permanent. Things go, comes and go. And imagine that this prana there, this, this field of energy between two atoms vibrating very fast and then a thought come, comes. Or let's say um, an emotion, a perception comes. And it's vibrating, so it comes with the rhythm and we pass. It, it, the, the higher our vibration, the quicker sometimes we can process these feelings and experience that we come we we have through life, you know. So its vibration it facilitates the flow of these things, these waves of many different experiences in life passing through us, including uh, physical humans, for example. Now imagine that this prana now stops vibrating. It's like it's stuck. It's very low vibration. It's very slow. It's dense. It's heavy. Whenever I have an experience, it's gonna come and it's, it's gonna get stuck here. The vessel that my body is, this human body, then becomes stagnated. So th there's no creativity passing through me. That's when illness comes, that's when we feel sick. We feel sick on a physical level, on a mental level. It's harder to access information, to access our intuition when things are stagnated within us. We want this to be an empty vessel, come and go and flowing. That's how life's supposed to be, like in the sense of a natural balance, right? Gratitude love, compassion, and feelings of, of high vibration. That's what we, we aim for when we feed ourselves with pranic food. Otherwise, if we're feeding ourselves with, with like food that like prana, what we're attracting, we are, what we are manifesting, not attract, what we're man manifesting, Fear, guilt, shame, anger. These are low vibration feelings that stay with us. And of course, again, this is not only about the food, but food does has a big influence here. So we want to feed our body with food that is rich in prana, right? Because they rise, they help us to rise our vibration so we can feel good. And what food is this? It's the sativic food sativic food help us to raise our vibration and our connection so we have not only developed this clear vessel not only within our body but also on a spiritual level where we have a clear vessel between myself and my higher self or my soul 
myself and the universe or cosmos or whatever you want to call you know something bigger than us which is the the net of um cosmic divine connections that we have that goes beyond our individuality